Good morning, everybody. Well, today, very rainy, dreary day. So we decided we're going to make a banana bread. It's nothing better than homemade banana bread. You have not lived yet homemade banana bread. And this is an honor, Professor Joe. I'm talking about my classes. This is the beginning of the school year. I took three music classes with Professor Joe. One was uh, Music Theory, Appreciation, and Chorus. And I had such a good time, especially in chorus. Oh, Joe is absolutely a genius. I'm chopping up this banana. You can hold it. Oh, one thing, a professional chef told me this. Keep your bananas in the refrigerator if you want to keep them fresh. Use a potato masher. It comes in handy when you want to mash something up and get it done faster. Yeah, I absolutely love Brookdale, and I'm talking about some of my class that really made an impression on me. Keep your bananas refrigerated, because what happens if you keep them out, they will go bad. All right, I'm now adding in one and one quarter cup of granulated sugar. What we're going to do now is I want to cream this together. Yeah, it's, it's really rainy, dreary day. I even remember when I went to Brooklyn, sometimes it would rain, folks. Nothing we could do about it. So we mix this together. We're going to cream this and cream this until cream them. I'm going to add two eggs. Two eggs. Make sure everything's got to be to the tea. We have a professional chef was saying to me, Deborah, what you need to do is when you make have bananas out, you have to put them in the refrigerator. Anything else? Milk can go. We're going to mix two eggs together. nice and cream and fluffy. See how fluffy that is, folks? Now, the next thing I want to do is add in my vanilla. Folks, vanilla has gone up in price. We don't know why. It's prices of vanilla is just very, very high. I hope we have some vanilla. We're going to have to grab some more. Let's see what we have left. I can sure smell it. Yeah, just enough. There we go. Just a little dash of vanilla. We don't need a lot. Done with it. Okay, I'm going to mix this together. Now we're adding the bananas. This is what's going to turn this into banana bread. Banana has a lot of potassium in it. Mix this together. I absolutely love bananas. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to add in two cups of flour. My camera is going to say how much. I think it's two. My eyes are not too good in the morning. Um, two and a half. Two and a half cups of flour. Okay, let's grab the half a cup. Oh. Okay, I also have one more thing to add in before the flour. One half cup of milk. Folks, I almost did a blunder, and I would have been yelled at by the professional chef. I almost forgot to add in the milk. Can you believe this one, folks? Oh, my Lord. I would have been something. I wonder how it would have came up. Probably horrible. All right. I'm now adding in two and one-half cups of milk. Sometimes you make blunders, and you have to admit you made a blunder. One time I made a recipe. It didn't come out, so you know what? I redid it. I forgot to add sugar to chocolate cake. Boy, that was really dumb on my part. One. And one half cups of all purpose flour. Two. Two and one half cups of flour. See what I mean? I'm not awake today. Here we go. I'm not awake, folks. All right.
Now we have one more thing to add in, and that's baking soda. I'm going to make sure I do this to the T. I'm adding in one teaspoon of baking soda. Folks, you can make a mistake very easy, even if the fat can make a mistake. It happens. You're tired sometimes. It's a dreary, rainy day. It doesn't surprise me. I'm adding in a teaspoon of baking soda. It's cross of baking soda. A little salt, just a little bit of salt. Gives it flavor. This is what you want with your batter to look like, folks. It's delicious. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful snack later. Make sure the spork is clean. Yep. Mix this together. Arm movement, folks. Use arm movement. Fluff this up, folks. You really want to have a delicious tasting banana bread. Okay. Yeah, I absolutely love going to Brookdale back in the 70s. I took these fantastic classes, folks. All right, now we're going to grease. I want to make sure it doesn't evaporate. So later on, when a cake is done, we can just get it out. Sometimes you can't. It just depends. You need bread. I mean bread. Or the cake. It's the same thing. Bread, banana bread. It's just made a little bit different. Yeah, I'm very excited about fall, folks. We're heading into fall now. All right, now. Here we go. Okay, this is going to take a good hour. Cook this at 350, and we'll be back in an hour. And here we have delicious banana bread. It's delicious. It's served. Look how beautiful that came out. All natural ingredients. My daughter said it looks like it came from the box. It didn't. It's all natural. And it's great served with a glass of ice cold milk. And this is an honor of when I went to Brooklyn when I took my music classes, music appreciation, theory, and course with Professor Joe. Uh, that's, I'm just going to continue talking about my classes so we don't forget about But I, I don't want to forget my classes. So that's why I'm going to talk about my classes. Some of them are really interesting. Deborah Ray's Home Country Kitchen. Have a great day. Please subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.